everybody how you are doing now i promised another i promised that i was going to do more videos and i was trying to be more consistent for 2024 and it's april and i really have not been doing that why have i not been doing that because i find the creative process a little bit tedious not kind of necessarily sitting on and like recording a video but then the process after that of um editing and making sure everything is good and you know kind of changing up stuff um i find it tedious and i don't like it i don't like it though i have gotten much better at editing i must say and if you are looking into like editing software i use CapCut after much research CapCut is the one that i use now i find it pretty simple to use not only for youtube but also for instagram like reels and whatever it's really really cool um i use the mobile version i do have it on my laptop but i'm not techie if you know me you know i'm not techie so i'm not about that life nevertheless um and so i don't enjoy the editing process but i do want to grow my platform and i want to be able to connect with you guys and i want to be able to be pushing out content nevertheless because if we're gonna do it we need to do it right so i've kind of just decided to like do quick videos um i'm trying to stick to a schedule so what i'm gonna do is like every day i'm gonna record it may not be anything long maybe a five minute video six minute video but just to kind of get into the, the habit of it because you know habits are easy to make and very difficult to break and so I want to get into the habit of it. I may not do like a bunch of editing with it. So you might just see my, you know, it's the flaws and it's a here and there. And the quality not, might not be like one of the videos that I'm going to sit and spend two hours to, to edit and do over and all those nice things. But it will, there will be content. Um, so recently, and it's just to kind of keep you guys up to date and be realistic about what's happening. You guys, for those of you who don't know, I'm a virtual assistant. I'm a remote worker. I work from home here in Jamaica. And I am a big advocate for like work from home or remote jobs or freelancing or any of those things. I know that a lot of people like freelancing may not be like your thing because you like the corporate lifestyle and the nine to five is just your thing. Some people operate within an office or in that type of structure than others. I personally don't. But I still want to like be realistic about sorry what's happening i want to be able to show you like what's really happening i'm not trying to you know plan content is great and i can put my points again or whatever but the reality is this is something that i live day to day and so i wanted to be able to see it and like have a realistic idea of what really happens in a day-to-day -day basis or what it's really like and so i think these shorter form contents because sometimes like i'll get an idea and I write it down, but I don't get back to it. So I think I'm just gonna record as I get an idea and then we can just take it from there. So uh, yeah, that's the type of content I want to be going forward with. Maybe not for a long period. I may go back or I may do in between where I'm actually doing, you know, those pretty ones with the editing and the sound effects and whatever. But I really want to be consistent in what it is that I'm doing and grow the platform and engage. Um, so today is Tuesday. Um, and a typical day for me looks like just getting up at 5 a.m. Um, most times I try to get up at 5 a.m. Sometimes it's hard because I'm tired, but I'm up at 5 making my daughter's lunch um, And because she takes daily every day I prepare lunch for her because she's very picky and she'll go to school and eat a party every day and No um, So I try to get her lunch prepped by the time she gets up. She's supposed to get up at 6 10 um, And why 6 10 because it gives her just enough time for me I think this is 10 minutes over 6 o'clock. I can't say you got 10 minutes extra and we, we still won't be late for getting to school or whatever um so by the time she wakes up i should have had her lunch ready her breakfast ready as well for her to kind of eat she's not the fastest eater in the world and so give her about 20 minutes to kind of get to the table have her breakfast it should be cooled as well so we don't have to talk about how it hot and then i take her to school you know she get ready i take her to school now i did a thing i had a car i sold that car then i bought another car i didn't like that so i sold that car and so now i don't have a car <laughs> um and so we have to go and take taxi or sometimes we're very generous this we will get rides from people or whatever we try to to just be out early in the event that either of those things happen if you get a ride great if you don't you should still be early because i don't like when my child goes to school late i don't i just no so yeah bring her to school and then I have to get back here to get my work done now right now i'm only with one person full time in terms of doing jobs and i'll do like other things on the side for like five hours but the the orders aren't coming in as readily as they would have been before things are kind of slow now so i really just have that one thing that i do 
and usually i can work from my phone i do have like apps on my phone that allows me to work remotely so sometimes i don't have my laptop but i'm on the road and you see me probably on my phone i'm not texting or i'm responding to work stuff i'm working um it does involve answering calls as well and what i had done was to connect my skype number to work so i don't have to be at my laptop to use the actual app that they use to answer the phone i can do it on the road but i canceled my subscription for the number i probably should get that sorted out again but nevertheless um so yeah i work until it's time to go get my child and then we just do the whole nine yards um but realistically i don't want people to think that you know being a remote worker or being a freelancer like you know it's always a mad rush of jobs and whatever it's not always that way sometimes you have slow seasons sometimes you have hold on yes yeah, sometimes you have slow seasons sometimes things aren't going as well as you would want them to go and so you know you have to kind of be mindful of that um remember that this is a this is a um a job that you're not you don't have the benefits of like a nine to five job so you don't have like health insurance and the pay isn't um secure your client can get to tomorrow and be like i don't want i don't want to do this anymore or things can change in the market or whatever the case might be so you always have to kind of be a step of ahead and try to be managing your stuff properly but then that's kind of what it's like now the other day though we were able to go on vacation we went to the us which was our first time there super super grateful that we're able to do that um and that's one of the perks for me of being a remote worker being a freelancer not only that i'm not in the structure of an office and you know nine to five and da 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 because i really don't like that but also that i can do those things i can take myself up and i can take my daughter to somewhere whether it be locally or internationally and i can still work i can still have my job and i need to borrow my headphones that is here my neck here and my laptop that's sitting in the background and so we were able to do that i do have some pictures but not a lot because you see i try to be this person but then in the moment i forget that i really should take my phone out and kind of and i'm 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 a little embarrassed to, to, to record in public to have my but we're gonna work on that we'll work on that um so yeah i kind of want to do stuff like that just to kind of be open and be real and be honest about the whole thing and to not you know be as 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 fixated on the process and everything and you know this has to be this and this and so yeah so if you and also guys i want to get to a thousand this year i want to get to more than a thousand this year but i'm working with a thousand first so if you know somebody who would really enjoy the content that is on the channel if you know somebody who may be looking into this recommend the channel please me normally come on here and ask people to subscribe or to comment or to like or to share but me need it please <laughs> please so share if you know somebody who this would benefit comment if you have any questions you'd want to ask anything you'd want to know um like the video of course because that helps me and subscribe if you're not already subscribed all right thank you so much and oh, 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 oh i want to say i do have any makeup on and my skin if you, i'm going to try to find a before picture i mean i put it in here because that's good that that's work but i don't know if you guys can see i hope when i look back at this it look the same way i think it look <laughs> right now but nevertheless big up my skin and my skin routine and them things big up that and you know i'm gonna feel so i'm gonna feel so bad i'm gonna feel so bad also i must say my book the book if you've been following the channel you know that i was writing a book and the book is called now that you're gone it's a collection of poetry for the recovering woman and i say the recovering woman y'all know i had the worst heartbreak in life well yes the worst heartbreak in life and you know there was a season of that and so the book really kind of tells you about everything in a poetic way it was kind of weird but nevertheless it's new um so it, it just kind of charts the relationship from start to middle to breakdown to after to the recovery um in the book and i'm super super excited that i might try to put the cover of it in so you guys can see it i'm super excited i do have a sample of it on my instagram page um with with the words to it i think i have a video on here as well with some of the words or one of the pieces that i did super excited for it it was a difficult thing to write because i had written some initially and then i had to revisit them and i had to kind of edit them and i kind of had to, to tweak certain things and there was perspective that i got because a lot of them were written in the moment of the pain and in the moment of everything that was going on and so having a different perspective no i've had to kind of go back and reread and i haven't changed the original ones but i kind of 
added perspective because as i said it, it charts the whole thing from beginning of the relationship to kind of like break down to after and where i am now and how i was able to get here and so i had to go back and to kind of just think about everything and to put myself in a frame of mind where i can analyze everything and to put that on paper so it translate the message that i wanted to translate and the message of that is things happen in life i take responsibility for my part in it and i'm never ever going to downplay and pretend like i was the only victim i was also a part of the problem i was also a part of the drama because i knew better i knew better cool and so the book is is finished i'm trying to get myself to a place where i can just sit down and just kind of get my life in order guys so please 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 if you are interested if you would like to um see the excerpt on my profile on instagram you can go ahead it's life with nessa underscore nine and you can go ahead and watch it it's a real i believe it is so you can go ahead and look at it and you can give me a feedback on there and if you'd want me to to maybe not read one but yeah maybe read another one on here you can also comment down below and just let me know please 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 this is like with us and i and i know some of you have been like where's now where's now where's now living her best life living her best life but nevertheless um i promised her that we're going to also do a video together so she will also be here soon and very soon soon as we can you know kind of chart that in i know that we're doing this impromptu thing i think we can get her to pop in and say a few things okay so love and bye